What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Cold Room, and I'm back with another video. Uh, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I spent my time recording, idea making, and at the beach. Wait, hold up. Ain't that what we're making in today's video? I think it is. Hey, look, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers sometime in May, so your subscription is much appreciated. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So I started off with my usual scene setup and then created the folder for the terrain. Now for this video, I'd be using Godel 3 so I can get the add-on for the terrain. I know at least 10 people just clicked off the video for that. And for the people that stayed, good job. You're doing a great thing right now. You can keep doing that by subscribing to the channel. Then I added a directional light so I can brighten up the scene. And then I started positioning the terrain for where I would want it to be. And then I started working on the island itself by raising the terrain height. This part of the terrain would be my beach. Then I started smoothing it out a bit and then I'd be finished with that. After that was done, I added a plain mesh that would be the water and the ocean surrounding my scene. I started doing the usual things like working on the material for whenever I make water. That doesn't even sound right. Can humans make water? I'm not sure, but you can make my sub count up when you subscribe to the channel. So I'll keep adjusting and messing with the material settings to see which one I would like. Turned up the UV scale so you could see more of the texture, messed with the roughness, and then messed with all the other things in there too. All I was trying to do was to get the mesh to look like water. Once I was done with the material, I converted it so I could write the script for it. I would do some work to the normal map texture and then that would be finished. Once that was done, I would start working on the objects that would be in my scene, such as the palm trees, the beach stuff, you know what I'm saying? I started working on the palm trees one by one and this time I could duplicate them without running into any <laughs> Then I would add the beach seats or whatever they call those things. We're gonna rock with beach seats for now and I would duplicate them and add them across the border of my scene. Then I would add the beach balls for some fun. This was to lighten up the scene and also to have some beach objects. After that, I changed the color of the light a little bit and then I added a shed. Just a little place where you can go in and chill and get a little breather, stuff like that. I'd scale to fit my scene and add a wooden planks texture and I'd be finished. So you wanna know what I realized while working on this project? It looks more like an actual island than the actual island that I made in my making a 3D island video. Go watch that video and tell me which one is better, that one or this one. And with all that being said, like and subscribe and I'm out of here. 